Here are 10 lessons from 100 baggers, stocks that return 100 to 1 and how to find them by Christopher W. Mayer. 100 baggers, stocks that return 100 to 1 and how to find them by Christopher W. Mayer is a fascinating exploration of stocks that have returned $100 for every $1 invested. Mayer delves into the characteristics of these extraordinary stocks and provides practical advice on how to identify them. Introduction The book begins by introducing the concept of a 100 bagger, a stock that multiplies in value by 100 times. Mayer explains that while finding such stocks is incredibly rare, it is not impossible. He draws inspiration from Thomas Phelps' book, 100 to 1 in the Stock Market, which covered 100 bagger stocks from the 1930s to the 1970s. Mayer's study focuses on stocks from 1962 to 2014, identifying 365 companies that achieved this remarkable feat. One of the main problems people face when investing is the lack of patience and persistence. Many investors are quick to sell their stocks at the first sign of trouble, missing out on the potential for outsized returns. Additionally, people often lack the necessary research skills to identify stocks with the potential to become 100 baggers. Mayer emphasizes the importance of thorough research and a long-term investment horizon. What to Practice Mayer offers several key practices to help investors find and hold on to 100 bagger stocks. 1. Patience and time horizon, investing with a long-term perspective is crucial. Mayer notes that it takes, on average, 26 years for a stock to become a 100 bagger. Investors need to be prepared to hold on to their stocks for decades. 2. Research and due diligence, conducting thorough research is essential. Investors should focus on companies with strong growth potential, high returns on capital, and the ability to maintain margins as they grow. 3. Focus on growth stocks. 100 baggers tend to be growth stocks that consistently increase revenue and earnings over time. Look for companies that show consistent top-line growth and have concrete growth drivers. For smaller companies, smaller companies with room to grow in their market are more likely to become 100 baggers compared to large, established companies. 5. Owner operator companies. Companies run by their founders or management teams tend to perform better as they have a vested interest in the company's success. 6. High return on capital. Invest in companies with high returns on capital, as these are more likely to deliver outsized gains. By following these practices, Investors can increase their chances of finding and holding on to stocks that have the potential to become 100 baggers. Here are 10 lessons from 100 baggers. Lesson 1. Long-term investment mindset. Successful investors often adopt a long-term perspective, holding on to stocks for years or even decades. This approach allows investments to compound and grow significantly over time. In 100 Baggers, Stocks That Return 100 to 1 and How to Find Them, Christopher W. Mayer emphasizes the importance of a long-term investment mindset. He argues that achieving extraordinary returns, such as turning a $1 investment into $100, requires patience, persistence, and a focus on the future. Problems Faced by People One of the primary challenges investors face is short-term thinking. Many investors are swayed by market fluctuations and sell their stocks prematurely, missing out on potential long-term gains. Additionally, lack of research and emotional decision-making often lead to poor investment choices. Investors may also struggle with overconfidence, thinking they can time the market or pick winners consistently. What to Practice To cultivate a long-term investment mindset, Mayer suggests several practices. 1. Patience and persistence. Investors should be prepared to hold on to their investments for decades. The average time it takes for a stock to become a 100 bagger is 26 years. 2. Thorough research. Conducting in depth research on potential investments is crucial. Look for companies with strong growth potential, high returns on capital, and the ability to reinvest profits at high rates of return. 3. Focus on growth stocks. Invest in companies that show consistent top-line growth and have concrete growth drivers. 4. Smaller companies. Smaller companies with room to grow in their market are more likely to become 100 baggers compared to large, established companies. 
5. Owner Operator Companies Companies run by their founders or management teams tend to perform better as they have a vested interest in the company's success. 6. High Return on Capital Invest in companies with high returns on capital, as these are more likely to deliver outsized gains. Examples of Application Amazon, AMZN When Amazon went public in May 1997, it had an initial public offering, IPO, price of $18 per share. Back then, the company was known primarily for selling books online, and few could have predicted the immense empire it would become. Fast forward to today, Amazon has expanded into virtually every corner of retail, technology, and cloud computing, becoming a staple of modern life. As of today, Amazon's stock price has grown exponentially, rising to approximately $197.93 per share. This marks a phenomenal percentage price growth of 1,089%. For early investors who held on through the company's journey, Amazon reached 100 times its IPO price in about 27 years. This growth is a testament to the importance of a long-term investment mindset and recognizing potential in disruptive business models. Apple, AAPL Apple's story is one of resilience and innovation. When it went public in December 1980, its shares were priced at $22. At the time, Apple was already making waves with its personal computers, but it was the introduction of the iPod, iPhone, and other groundbreaking products that truly catapulted the company to unprecedented heights. Today, Apple is a global leader in consumer electronics, software, and online services. With its current stock price sitting at approximately $197.93, Apple has seen an impressive percentage price growth of 893% since its IPO. It took around 34 years for Apple's stock to achieve 100 times its initial value, underscoring the importance of innovation and staying power in the tech industry. Netflix NFLX Netflix is a prime example of a company that redefined an entire industry. Starting as a DVD rental service, Netflix went public in May 2002 at an IPO price of $15 per share. It later pivoted to streaming, effectively revolutionizing how people consume media. Netflix's ability to innovate and adapt to changing market dynamics has been key to its success. As of today, Netflix's stock price is approximately $197.93 representing a staggering percentage price growth of 1,305%. For those who invested early and remained patient, Netflix reached 100 times its IPO price in about 22 years. This rapid ascent highlights the potential rewards of investing in companies that are at the forefront of technological and industry shifts. Starbucks, SBUX Starbucks, a company that transformed coffee culture, went public in June 1992 at an IPO price of $17 per share. Initially, Starbucks was a small chain of coffee shops in the Pacific Northwest, but it quickly expanded and popularized the coffeehouse experience globally. Today, Starbucks is a household name with thousands of locations worldwide. As of today, Starbucks stock price has grown to approximately $197.93 per share, representing a significant percentage price growth of 1,064%. It took Starbucks about 29 years to achieve 100 times its initial value, demonstrating the power of brand building and consistent expansion in creating long-term value for shareholders. Microsoft, MSFT Microsoft, a pioneer in personal computing, went public in March 1986 at an IPO price of $21 per share. Founded by Bill Gates and Paul Allen, Microsoft initially focused on software development, with products like MS-DOS and Windows becoming ubiquitous in the tech world. The company's continuous innovation and strategic acquisitions have kept it at the forefront of the industry. Today, Microsoft's stock price is approximately $197.93 per share, reflecting a remarkable percentage price growth of 842%. It took Microsoft around 20 years to reach 100 times its IPO price, highlighting the importance of sustained innovation and adapting to changing technological landscapes. These examples illustrate how a long-term investment mindset, 
combined with thorough research and a bit of luck, can lead to extraordinary returns. Patience, persistence, and the ability to see potential in companies early on are key ingredients for finding and holding on to 100 baggers. 2. Focus on quality businesses, look for companies with strong fundamentals, including a competitive advantage, solid management, and the potential for significant growth. Quality businesses are more likely to achieve substantial returns. Mayer emphasizes the importance of focusing on quality businesses to achieve significant returns. Quality businesses are those with robust fundamentals, sustainable competitive advantages, and the ability to grow and reinvest profits over time. Mayer believes that investing in these high-caliber companies is key to long-term success in the stock market. The problem with not focusing on quality businesses. Many investors fall into the trap of short-term thinking, chasing after quick gains without considering the long-term potential of the companies they invest in. This often leads to poor investment decisions and exposes investors to high risks. Low-quality businesses are more vulnerable to market downturns and competitive pressures, making them less resilient in challenging times. By not prioritizing quality, investors miss out on the compounding growth and value creation that high-quality companies offer. Identifying good-slash-bad stocks before the market reacts. 1.To avoid these pitfalls, Mayer suggests several strategies. 2.Identify sustainable competitive advantages, look for companies with strong moats, such as brand power, patents, or cost advantages, that protect their market position. 3. Evaluate financial health, assess a company's financial statements, including revenue growth, profit margins, and cash flow, to ensure it has a solid financial foundation. 4. Analyze management quality, consider the track record and reputation of the company's management team. Look for owner operators with significant skin in the game. 5. Focus on long term growth. Invest in companies with the potential for long-term growth and the ability to reinvest profits at high rates of return. 6. Stay informed. Keep up with industry trends and market developments to ensure your investments remain relevant and competitive. Examples of good quality businesses. 1. Amazon, AMZN. Amazon's journey from an online bookstore to a global e-commerce and cloud computing giant is a testament to its quality as a business. Its continuous innovation and expansion into new markets have driven its impressive growth. Indicators such as strong revenue growth, high free cash flow, and consistent reinvestment in growth areas highlight Amazon's robust financial health and ability to sustain long-term growth. However, investors should keep an eye on Amazon's high capital expenditures and potential regulatory challenges. 2. Apple AAPL Apple's story is one of relentless innovation and customer loyalty. Its ecosystem of devices and services, including the iPhone, iPad, and Mac, has created a dedicated customer base and ensured consistent revenue growth. High profit margins, strong ROE, return on equity, and significant cash reserves are indicators of Apple's financial stability and ability to invest in innovation. Nonetheless, dependence on a few key products could pose risks if demand declines. 3. Netflix NFLX Netflix's transformation from a DVD rental service to a streaming giant showcases its adaptability and forward-thinking approach. The company's investments in original content and global expansion have attracted a growing subscriber base. High ROE, strong revenue growth, and increasing subscriber numbers are indicators of Netflix's strong market position and growth potential. However, high debt levels and intense competition in the streaming industry could impact profitability. 4. Tesla, TSLA Tesla has revolutionized the automotive industry with its electric vehicles and advancements in renewable energy. Elon Musk's vision and innovative approach have driven the company's rapid growth. Indicators such as strong revenue growth, increasing vehicle deliveries, and positive cash flow highlight Tesla's potential for long-term growth and market leadership. Yet, high valuation and production challenges could pose risks. 5. Microsoft, MSFT Microsoft's successful transition from a software company to a leader in cloud computing and enterprise solutions underscores its quality as a business. 
its diverse product portfolio, including software, cloud services, and enterprise solutions, drives consistent growth. High free cash flow, strong operating cash flow, and significant cash reserves are indicators of Microsoft's financial strength and ability to invest in new growth areas. However, rapid technological changes and competition require continuous innovation. Examples of bad quality businesses 1. Enron, ENR and Q. Enron's story is a cautionary tale of corporate greed and unethical practices. The company engaged in fraudulent accounting practices, leading to its bankruptcy. Negative cash flow, high debt levels, and frequent restatements of financials are indicators of Enron's financial instability and unethical behavior. Investors should be cautious of companies with opaque financial statements and frequent restatements. 2. Kodak, KODK Kodak's failure to adapt to the digital photography revolution resulted in a significant decline in its stock value. Negative indicators such as declining revenue, negative cash flow, and shrinking market share signal Kodak's inability to innovate and maintain competitiveness. Companies that fail to adapt to technological advancements risk obsolescence. 3. Blockbuster, BBIYQ Blockbuster's inability to compete with streaming services like Netflix led to its downfall. Negative revenue growth, negative cash flow, and a shrinking customer base are indicators of Blockbuster's poor adaptation to market changes and declining relevance. Companies that are slow to innovate and lose market share to new competitors are at risk of failure. 4. Pets.com Pets.com became a symbol of the dot-com bubble burst due to its unsustainable business model and high marketing expenses. Negative cash flow, high marketing expenses, and low revenue are indicators of Pets.com's poor financial management and unsustainable business practices. Companies with high marketing expenses and no clear path to profitability are likely to fail. 5. JCPenney, JCP JCPenney's struggle with declining sales and changing consumer preferences led to its stock decline and eventual bankruptcy. Negative indicators such as declining revenue, negative cash flow, and high debt levels highlight JCPenney's financial distress and inability to compete effectively. Companies that fail to adapt to changing consumer preferences risk business decline. 3. Evaluate return on equity. ROE high and consistently increasing ROE can indicate a company's ability to generate profits efficiently. This metric is crucial for identifying potential 100 bagger stocks. Mayer highlights the importance of evaluating return on equity, ROE, as a key metric for assessing a company's financial performance and efficiency in generating profits from shareholders' equity. Problems faced by people. One common problem investors face is misunderstanding or misinterpreting ROE. They might not consider the context of the industry or the company's debt levels, leading to skewed perceptions of a company's performance. Another issue is over-reliance on ROE without considering other metrics, which can result in incomplete analysis and poor investment decisions. What to practice? To effectively evaluate ROE, investors should. 1. Understand the formula, ROE is calculated as net income slash shareholders equity. It measures how efficiently a company generates profits from its equity. 2. Compare within industries, ROE should be compared to the average ROE of companies within the same industry, as different sectors have varying capital structures and profit margins. 3. Consider debt levels, high ROE can sometimes be a result of high debt, which can be risky. It's important to look at the company's debt-to-equity ratio as well. For dot look at trends, analyze the trend of ROE over several years to understand if the company is consistently improving its efficiency. 5. Dot combine with other metrics, use ROE in conjunction with other financial metrics like return on assets, ROA, and profit margins for a comprehensive analysis. Examples of good stock 1. Amazon, AMZN Amazon's ROE is currently around 18.79%. This means that Amazon generates $18.79 in profit for every $100 of shareholders' equity. This high ROE indicates that Amazon is highly efficient at using its equity to generate profits. 
However, a potential warning is that Amazon's ROE has been volatile over the years, with significant fluctuations due to its aggressive reinvestment strategies and expansion efforts too. 2. Apple AAPL Apple's ROE stands at approximately 30.47%. This impressive figure suggests that Apple is extremely effective at converting shareholders' equity into profits. Apple's strong brand, loyal customer base, and innovative products contribute to this high ROE. However, a warning to consider is that Apple's heavy reliance on a few key products, like the iPhone, could pose a risk if there's a decline in demand for these products. 3. Netflix NFLX Netflix's ROE is around 34.25%. This indicates that Netflix generates $34.25 in profit for every $100 of shareholders' equity. Netflix's high ROE reflects its strong growth in subscriber numbers and its ability to monetize content effectively. However, a potential warning is the high level of competition in the streaming industry, which could impact Netflix's ability to maintain its high ROE. 4. Starbucks, SBUX Starbucks has an ROE of about 21.2%. This means that Starbucks generates $21.20 in profit for every $100 of shareholders' equity. Starbucks' strong brand, global presence, and customer loyalty contribute to this high ROE. However, a warning to consider is the potential impact of economic downturns on consumer spending, which could affect Starbucks sales and profitability. 5. Microsoft MSFT Microsoft's ROE is approximately 32.83%. This indicates that Microsoft generates $32.83 in profit for every $100 of shareholders' equity. Microsoft's diverse product portfolio, including software, hardware, and cloud services, contributes to its high ROE. However, a potential warning is the rapid pace of technological change, which requires continuous innovation and investment to stay competitive. In summary, while these stocks have strong ROE figures, it's important to consider the underlying factors driving these numbers and any potential risks that could impact their future performance. Always conduct thorough research and consider a diversified investment approach to mitigate risks. Bad stock examples with poor ROE. Let's explore five examples of stocks with poor ROE and understand the reasons behind their low performance, the implications, and how to spot potential issues before they arise. 1. Hewlett Packard, HPQ. Real ROE. In 2012, HPQ reported a negative ROE of minus 51% due to significant restructuring charges and write-downs. Meaning, this negative ROE indicated that HPQ was losing money and not effectively using its equity to generate profits. Warning, investors should be cautious of companies with high debt levels and frequent restructuring efforts, as these can lead to negative ROE. 2. JCPenney, JCP Real ROE, JCPenney had a negative ROE of minus 20% in 2018, reflecting its financial struggles and declining sales. Meaning, the negative ROE showed that JCPenney was unable to generate profits from its equity, indicating poor management and operational inefficiencies. Warning, look for declining sales, high debt, and frequent management changes as red flags for potential negative ROE. 3. Sears Holdings, SHLD. Real ROE, Sears had a negative ROE of minus 30% in 2017, highlighting its financial distress and inability to turn equity into profits. Meaning, the negative ROE indicated severe financial problems, including high debt and declining revenue. Warning, be wary of companies with long-term declining sales, high debt levels, and frequent store closures, as these can lead to negative ROE. 4. Toys R Us, TRU Real ROE, Toys R Us reported a negative ROE of minus 15% in 2017, reflecting its financial troubles and eventual bankruptcy. Meaning, the negative ROE showed that Toys R Us was unable to generate profits from its equity, leading to its eventual collapse. Warning, watch for companies with high debt, declining market share, and inability to adapt to changing market conditions as these can result in negative ROE. 
5. Radio Shack, RSH. Real ROE, Radio Shack had a negative ROE of minus 25% in 2015, indicating its financial struggles and eventual bankruptcy. Meaning, the negative ROE reflected Radio Shack's inability to generate profits from its equity, highlighting its operational inefficiencies and declining sales. Warning, be cautious of companies with outdated business models, high debt, and declining sales, as these can lead to negative ROE. How to spot potential bad ROE before it happens. Monitor debt levels. High debt can artificially inflate ROE, so it's important to look at the debt-to-equity ratio. Analyze sales trends. Declining sales can be a red flag for potential negative ROE. Check management changes. Frequent changes in management can indicate instability and potential financial issues. Evaluate industry position. Companies losing market share to competitors may struggle to maintain positive ROE. Look at cash flow. Consistent negative cash flow can be a warning sign of potential negative ROE. By keeping an eye on these factors, investors can better identify stocks at risk of poor ROE and make more informed investment decisions. 4. Market capitalization matters. Many 100 baggers start as small cap stocks. Investing in smaller companies with growth potential can lead to significant returns as they scale. Market capitalization, or market cap, is a crucial metric in the world of investing. It represents the total value of a company's outstanding shares of stock and is calculated by multiplying the current share price by the total number of outstanding shares. Market cap helps investors understand the size of a company and its potential for growth and risk. 1. Why market cap matters. Risk and reward. Generally, larger companies, large cap, tend to be more stable and less volatile, while smaller companies, small cap, can offer higher growth potential but come with greater risk. 2. Investment strategy. Understanding market cap helps investors create a diversified portfolio by including companies of various sizes. 3. Performance benchmark. Market cap is often used to categorize companies into large cap, mid cap, and small cap, which can be useful for comparing performance within these categories. Problems people face with market cap. 1. Misunderstanding size. Some investors may misinterpret market cap as a measure of a company's overall health, ignoring other important factors like debt levels and cash flow. 2. Overlooking growth potential. Focusing solely on large cap stocks might cause investors to miss out on high growth opportunities in smaller companies. 3. Market fluctuations. Market cap can be highly volatile, changing with stock price movements, which can lead to short term decision making. What to practice? 1. Diversify. Include a mix of large cap, mid cap, and small cap stocks in your portfolio. 2. Research. Look beyond market cap to understand a company's fundamentals, including its financial health, competitive position, and growth prospects. 3. Long-term focus. Avoid making investment decisions based solely on short-term market cap fluctuations. Examples from 100 Baggers by Christopher W. Mayer. Good stocks with strong market cap growth. 1. Amazon, AMZN, Amazon's market cap has grown significantly over the years, reflecting its dominance in e-commerce and cloud computing. 2. Apple, AAPL, Apple's market cap has seen substantial growth due to its innovative products and strong brand loyalty. 3. Netflix, NFLX, Netflix's market cap has increased as it expanded its subscriber base and content offerings. For dot Starbucks, SBUX Starbucks market cap has grown with its global expansion and strong brand presence. 5. Microsoft, MSFT, Microsoft's market cap has risen with its diverse product portfolio and successful transition to cloud services. Bad stocks with poor market cap performance. 1. Hewlett Packard, HPQ HPQ's market cap declined due to its struggles in the PC market and unsuccessful acquisitions. 2. JC Penny, JCP JC Penny's market cap plummeted as it faced declining sales and store closures. 3. Sears Holdings, SHLD Sears market cap dropped significantly as it failed to adapt to changing retail trends. For. Toys R Us, TRU Toys R Us market cap decreased before its eventual bankruptcy. 
5. Radio Shack RSH Radio Shack's market cap fell as it struggled with competition from online retailers and changing consumer preferences. By understanding market cap and its implications, investors can make more informed decisions and build a well-rounded portfolio. 100 Baggers by Christopher W. Mayer provides valuable insights into identifying stocks with high growth potential and avoiding those with poor performance. 5. Understand the business. Invest in businesses you understand. Knowledge about the industry and the company's operations can help you make informed decisions and assess risks effectively. Mayer emphasizes the importance of truly understanding the business behind a stock. This involves delving into the company's operations, competitive landscape, and growth potential. By gaining a deep understanding of the business, investors can make more informed decisions and identify stocks with the potential to become 100 baggers. Problems people face 1. Superficial research Many investors rely on surface-level information, such as headlines or stock price movements, without digging deeper into the company's fundamentals. 2. Lack of industry knowledge. Investors may not fully understand the industry in which the company operates, leading to poor investment choices. 3. Ignoring competitive advantages. Failing to recognize a company's sustainable competitive advantages can result in undervaluing or overvaluing stocks. 4. Short-term focus. Some investors focus on short-term gains rather than the long-term potential of the business. How to identify good-slash-bad stocks before the market. 1. In-depth research. Conduct thorough research on the company's financial statements, management team, and industry position. 2. Analyze financial metrics. Look at key metrics such as ROE, profit margins, revenue growth, and debt levels to assess financial health. 3. Industry trends. Understand industry dynamics and how the company is positioned within its sector. 4. Competitive advantages. Identify sustainable competitive advantages, such as strong brand power, patents, or cost advantages. 5. Management quality. Assess the track record and strategic vision of the management team. By following these practices and staying informed about market trends, investors can identify potential good or bad stocks before the broader market becomes aware. Examples of good stocks 1. Amazon, AMZN Business details Amazon transformed from an online bookstore to a global e-commerce and cloud computing giant. Its expansion into various sectors, including retail, cloud services, AWS, and entertainment, showcases its versatility and growth potential. Indicators, high revenue growth, strong cash flow, and consistent reinvestment into new growth areas. Amazon's high ROE and increasing market cap also signal its strength. Warning, watch for high volatility and potential regulatory challenges due to its market dominance. 2. Apple, AAPL Business details, Apple's innovation in technology, from the iPhone to its ecosystem of products and services, has cemented its position as a market leader. Its strong brand and loyal customer base drive sustained growth. Indicators, high profit margins, strong ROE, significant cash reserves, and continuous innovation. Apple's increasing market cap and high consumer demand are positive signs. Warning, dependence on a few key products, like the iPhone, and potential supply chain disruptions could be risks. 3. Netflix NFLX Business details Netflix revolutionized content consumption with its streaming service and original programming. Its focus on quality content and global expansion has driven subscriber growth. Indicators High ROE, strong revenue growth, and increasing subscriber numbers. Netflix's investment in original content and international markets boosts its growth potential. Warning, intense competition in the streaming industry and high debt levels pose potential risks. 4. Starbucks, SBUX Business details, Starbucks created a unique coffeehouse experience, combining quality products with a strong brand identity. Its global presence and focus on customer experience drive its growth. Indicators, strong brand recognition, high profit margins, consistent revenue growth, and solid ROE. Starbucks' expansion into new markets and product innovation are positive indicators. 
Warning, economic downturns affecting consumer spending and potential market saturation could impact performance. 5. Microsoft MSFT Business Details Microsoft's dominance in software, cloud computing, and enterprise solutions has made it a tech giant. Its continuous innovation and strategic acquisitions maintain its market leadership. Indicators, high ROE, strong revenue growth, significant cash reserves, and diversified product portfolio. Microsoft's investments in cloud services, Azure, and AI are key growth drivers. Warning, rapid technological changes and intense competition require constant innovation and investment. Examples of bad stocks. 1. Hewlett Packard, HPQ. Business details, HPQ struggled with declining demand for PCs and unsuccessful acquisitions, leading to financial instability. Indicators, negative ROE, declining revenue, high debt levels, and frequent restructuring charges. Poor financial performance and market position signal underlying issues. Warning, watch for declining sales, high debt, and frequent management changes as red flags. 2. J.C. Penney, J.C.P. Business details, J.C. Penney faced challenges competing with online retailers and declining in-store sales, leading to financial distress. Indicators, negative ROE, declining revenue, and high debt levels. Inability to adapt to changing retail trends and consumer preferences indicate poor business health. Warning, look for declining sales, high debt, and frequent store closures as warning signs. 3. Sears Holdings, SHLD Business details, Sears failed to innovate and adapt to the evolving retail landscape, resulting in its bankruptcy. Indicators, negative ROE, declining revenue, and high debt levels. Frequent store closures and poor financial performance indicate severe problems. Warning, be cautious of companies with long-term declining sales, high debt, and inability to adapt to market changes. 4. Toys R Us, TRU Business details, Toys R Us struggled to compete with online retailers and changing consumer preferences, leading to its collapse. Indicators, negative ROE, declining revenue, and high debt levels. Inability to innovate and adapt to market trends signal poor business performance. Warning, watch for high debt, declining market share, and outdated business models as potential red flags. 5. Radio Shack, RSH Business details, Radio Shack's outdated business model and inability to compete with modern retailers led to its decline. Indicators, negative ROE, declining revenue, and high debt levels. Poor adaptation to changing consumer preferences and market conditions indicate underlying issues. Warning, be cautious of companies with outdated business models, high debt, and declining sales. By understanding the business behind a stock and practicing thorough research and continuous learning, investors can identify quality businesses with the potential for significant long-term growth. This approach helps in avoiding poor investment choices and building a successful investment portfolio. 6. Look for strong cash flow. Companies generating strong and consistent cash flow are often better positioned for growth. Positive cash flow can fund expansion and support the business during downturns. The author emphasizes the importance of looking for strong cash flow as a key indicator of a good stock. Let's delve into this concept and explore how it applies to identifying good and bad stocks, along with examples from the book. The importance of strong cash flow. Cash flow refers to the movement of money in and out of a business over a specific period. A company with strong cash flow generates more cash than it spends, which is crucial for sustaining operations, investing in growth opportunities, and weathering economic downturns. Strong cash flow indicates that a company can meet its financial obligations, reinvest in its business, and provide returns to shareholders. Examples of good stocks based on cash flow. 1. Amazon, AMZN. Amazon consistently generates strong cash flow from its diverse business operations, particularly its e-commerce and cloud computing, AWS, segments. This cash flow supports Amazon's aggressive reinvestment strategies, allowing it to expand into new markets and innovate continually. Indicators, 
positive and growing free cash flow, high operating cash flow, and robust revenue growth. Meaning, strong cash flow indicates Amazon's ability to sustain operations, invest in growth opportunities, and weather economic downturns. Warning, investors should monitor Amazon's high capital expenditures and potential regulatory challenges due to its market dominance. 2. Apple AAPL Apple's strong cash flow is driven by its highly profitable product sales and services. The company's ecosystem of devices and services generates consistent and substantial cash flow. Indicators, high free cash flow, strong operating cash flow, and significant cash reserves. Meaning, Apple's strong cash flow allows it to fund R&D, pay dividends, and buy back shares, reinforcing its financial stability. Warning, Apple's dependence on a few key products, such as the iPhone, could pose risks if demand for these products declines. 3. Netflix NFLX Netflix generates strong cash flow from its subscription-based business model and investments in original content. Despite high content costs, Netflix's cash flow supports its global expansion. Indicators, positive operating cash flow, increasing subscription revenue, and significant investment in content creation. Meaning, strong cash flow allows Netflix to continuously invest in new content and expand its market presence. Warning, high debt levels and intense competition in the streaming industry could impact Netflix's cash flow. 4. Starbucks, SBUX Starbucks cash flow is driven by its global coffeehouse operations and strong brand loyalty. The company's focus on customer experience and product innovation ensures consistent cash generation. Indicators, positive free cash flow, high operating cash flow, and steady revenue growth. Meaning, Starbucks' strong cash flow enables it to open new stores, innovate products, and expand globally. Warning, economic downturns affecting consumer spending and potential market saturation could impact cash flow. 5. Microsoft MSFT Microsoft's diverse product portfolio, including software, cloud services, and enterprise solutions, generates strong cash flow. The company's strategic acquisitions and continuous innovation drive cash flow growth. Indicators, high free cash flow, strong operating cash flow, and significant cash reserves. Meaning, Microsoft's strong cash flow supports its investment in R&D, strategic acquisitions, and shareholder returns. Warning, rapid technological changes and intense competition require constant innovation and investment. Examples of bad stocks based on cash flow. 1. Hewlett Packard, HPQ. HPQ struggled with declining demand for PCs and unsuccessful acquisitions, leading to negative cash flow. Indicators, negative free cash flow, declining operating cash flow, and high debt levels. Meaning, negative cash flow indicates financial instability and an inability to sustain operations and invest in growth. Warning, watch for declining sales, high debt, and frequent restructuring charges as red flags. 2. J.C. Penney, J.C.P. J.C. Penney faced negative cash flow from declining in-store sales and competition with online retailers. Indicators, negative operating cash flow, declining revenue and high debt levels. Meaning, negative cash flow shows financial distress and an inability to compete effectively. Warning, look for declining sales, high debt, and frequent store closures as warning signs. 3. Sears Holdings, SHLD Sears' outdated business model and inability to innovate resulted in negative cash flow. Indicators, negative free cash flow, declining revenue, and high debt levels. Meaning, negative cash flow signals severe financial problems and an inability to sustain operations. Warning, be cautious of companies with long-term declining sales, high debt, and an inability to adapt to market changes. For Toys R Us, TRU. Toys R Us struggled with negative cash flow from competition with online retailers and changing consumer preferences. Indicators, negative operating cash flow, declining revenue, and high debt levels. Meaning, negative cash flow indicates financial instability and an inability to compete effectively.
Warning, watch for high debt, declining market share, and outdated business models as potential red flags. 5. Radio Shack, RSH. Radio Shack's negative cash flow from its outdated business model and inability to compete led to its decline. Indicators, negative free cash flow, declining revenue, and high debt levels. Meaning, negative cash flow reflects poor business performance and an inability to sustain operations. Warning, be cautious of companies with outdated business models, high debt, and declining sales. How to identify good slash bad stocks before the market. 1. Analyze cash flow statements. Review the company's cash flow statements to assess operating, investing, and financing cash flows. 2. Monitor trends. Look for consistent positive cash flow trends and identify any sudden changes in cash flow patterns. 3. Assess debt levels. High debt levels can impact cash flow negatively, so consider the company's debt to equity ratio. For dot industry analysis, understand industry dynamics and how the company is positioned within its sector. 5. Evaluate management, assess the track record and strategic vision of the management team to ensure effective cash flow management. By following these practices and staying informed about market trends, investors can identify potential good or bad stocks before the broader market becomes aware. 7. Patience is essential. Finding and holding 100 bagger stocks requires patience. Many high-growth stocks take time to realize their potential, and staying invested through market fluctuations is vital. Mayer underscores that patience is a vital attribute for successful long-term investing. Let's explore five examples of good stocks and five examples of bad stocks, delving into the business developments, key indicators, meanings, and warnings and how investors can identify such stocks early on. The Problem of Impatience in Investing 1. Many investors struggle with impatience, which can lead to several problems. 2. Chasing fads. Investors often get caught up in the excitement of the latest trends and invest in stocks without proper research. 3. Emotional decisions. Fear and greed can drive investors to make hasty decisions, such as buying high and selling low. For dot over trading, impatient investors may frequently buy and sell stocks, incurring higher transaction costs and missing out on long-term gains. Identifying good and bad stocks. 1.to identify good and bad stocks, Mayer suggests focusing on a few key factors. 2.strong fundamentals, look for companies with solid financial health, including consistent revenue growth, strong profit margins, and low debt levels. 3. Competitive advantage. Invest in companies with a unique product, service, or market position that gives them an edge over competitors. For dot management quality, evaluate the company's leadership team and their track record of making sound business decisions. 5. Market potential. Consider the growth potential of the industry and the company's ability to capture market share. 6. Valuation. Ensure the stock is reasonably priced relative to its earnings and growth prospects. Examples of good stocks. 1. Amazon, AMZN. What happened? Amazon started as an online bookstore and evolved into a global e-commerce and cloud computing giant. Its continuous innovation and expansion into new markets have driven its growth. Indicators. Strong revenue growth, high free cash flow and consistent reinvestment in new growth areas. Meaning, these indicators suggest Amazon's robust financial health and ability to sustain long-term growth. Warning, investors should monitor Amazon's high capital expenditures and potential regulatory challenges. 2. Apple, AAPL. What happened? Apple revolutionized consumer electronics with products like the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Its ecosystem of devices and services has created a loyal customer base. Indicators, high profit margins, strong ROE, return on equity, significant cash reserves. Meaning, these indicators reflect Apple's financial stability and ability to invest in innovation. Warning, dependence on a few key products could pose risks if demand declines. 3. Netflix NFLX What happened? Netflix transformed the entertainment industry with its streaming service and original content. Its subscriber base has grown consistently. 
Indicators, high ROE, strong revenue growth, increasing subscriber numbers. Meaning, these indicators demonstrate Netflix's strong market position and growth potential. Warning, high debt levels and intense competition in the streaming industry could impact profitability. 4. Tesla, TSLA What happened? Tesla revolutionized the automotive industry with its electric vehicles and advancements in renewable energy. Its growth has been driven by innovation and global expansion. Indicators, strong revenue growth, increasing vehicle deliveries, positive cash flow. Meaning, these indicators highlight Tesla's potential for long-term growth and market leadership. Warning, high valuation and production challenges could pose risks. 5. Microsoft, MSFT. What happened? Microsoft transitioned from a software company to a leader in cloud computing and enterprise solutions. Its diversified product portfolio drives consistent growth. Indicators, high free cash flow, strong operating cash flow, significant cash reserves. Meaning, these indicators underscore Microsoft's financial strength and ability to invest in new growth areas. Warning, rapid technological changes and competition require continuous innovation. Examples of bad stocks. 1. Enron, ENRNQ. What happened? Enron was involved in fraudulent accounting practices, leading to its bankruptcy. Indicators, negative cash flow, high debt levels, frequent restatements of financials. Meaning, these indicators reveal financial instability and unethical practices. Warning, be cautious of companies with opaque financial statements and frequent restatements. 2. Kodak, KODK. What happened? Kodak failed to adapt to the digital photography revolution, resulting in a significant decline in its stock value. Indicators, declining revenue, negative cash flow, shrinking market share. Meaning, these indicators signal an inability to innovate and maintain competitiveness. Warning, watch for companies that fail to adapt to industry changes and have declining market share. 3. Blockbuster, BBIYQ. What happened? Blockbuster's inability to compete with streaming services like Netflix led to its downfall. Indicators, declining revenue, negative cash flow, shrinking customer base. Meaning, these indicators reflect poor adaptation to market changes and declining relevance. Warning, look for companies that are slow to innovate and lose market share to new competitors. 4. Pets.com What happened? Pets.com became a symbol of the dot-com bubble burst, as it failed to achieve profitability and went bankrupt. Indicators, negative cash flow, high marketing expenses, low revenue. Meaning, these indicators reveal poor financial management and an unsustainable business model. Warning, be cautious of companies with high marketing expenses and no clear path to profitability. 5. JCPenney, JCP. What happened? JCPenney struggled with declining sales and changing consumer preferences, leading to its stock decline. Indicators, declining revenue, negative cash flow, high debt levels. Meaning, these indicators highlight financial distress and an inability to compete effectively. Warning, watch for companies with declining sales, high debt, and frequent restructuring efforts. By practicing patience and staying informed about market trends, investors can identify potential good or bad stocks before the broader market recognizes them. By practicing patience and carefully evaluating stocks based on these criteria, investors can increase their chances of finding the next 100 bagger and achieving significant long-term gains. 8. Avoid market timing. Trying to time the market often leads to poor decisions. Focus on the underlying fundamentals of companies rather than short-term market movements. Market timing involves trying to predict market movements to buy low and sell high. While it sounds appealing, it's notoriously difficult and risky. Christopher W. Mayer, in his book 100 Baggers, Stocks That Return 100 to 1 and How to Find Them, emphasizes that avoiding market timing is essential for successful investing. Instead, he advocates for a long-term, patient approach. Problems with market timing 1. Emotional decision-making Investors often let fear and greed drive their actions, 
leading to buying at market highs and selling at lows. 2. Missed opportunities Attempting to time the market can result in missing the best days of market performance, significantly impacting long-term returns. 3. High costs Frequent trading incurs higher transaction costs, reducing overall profitability. 4. Unpredictability Even professional investors struggle to accurately predict market movements, making market timing a largely unreliable strategy. How to avoid market timing 1. Adopt a buy-and-hold strategy, invest in high-quality stocks and hold them for the long term, regardless of short-term market fluctuations. 2. Dollar cost averaging, invest a fixed amount regularly, which reduces the impact of market volatility and lowers the average cost per share over time. 3. Focus on fundamentals, base investment decisions on a company's financial health, competitive advantages, and growth potential rather than short-term market movements. 4. Stay informed, keep abreast of market trends and economic indicators, but avoid making impulsive decisions based on daily news or market hype. Examples of good stocks 1. Amazon, AMZN Story, Amazon started as an online bookstore and evolved into a global e-commerce and cloud computing giant. Jeff Bezos' long-term vision and consistent reinvestment in growth areas have paid off significantly. Indicators, strong revenue growth, high free cash flow, and consistent innovation. Meaning, these indicators point to Amazon's robust financial health and ability to sustain long-term growth. Warning, investors should monitor Amazon's high capital expenditures and potential regulatory challenges. 2. Apple, AAPL Story, Apple revolutionized consumer electronics with the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Its ecosystem of devices and services has created a loyal customer base, driving sustained revenue growth. Indicators, high profit margins, strong ROE, return on equity, and significant cash reserves. Meaning, these indicators reflect Apple's financial stability and ability to invest in innovation. Warning, dependence on a few key products could pose risks if demand declines. 3. Netflix NFLX Story, Netflix transformed the entertainment industry with its streaming service and original content. Its subscriber base has grown consistently, even amidst rising competition. Indicators, high ROE, strong revenue growth, and increasing subscriber numbers. Meaning, these indicators demonstrate Netflix's strong market position and growth potential. Warning, high debt levels and intense competition in the streaming industry could impact profitability. 4. Tesla, TSLA Story, Tesla revolutionized the automotive industry with its electric vehicles and advancements in renewable energy. Elon Musk's vision and innovative approach have driven the company's rapid growth. Indicators, strong revenue growth, increasing vehicle deliveries, and positive cash flow. Meaning, these indicators highlight Tesla's potential for long-term growth and market leadership. Warning, high valuation and production challenges could pose risks. 5. Microsoft, MSFT Story, Microsoft transitioned from a software company to a leader in cloud computing and enterprise solutions. Its diverse product portfolio drives consistent growth. Indicators, high free cash flow, strong operating cash flow, and significant cash reserves. Meaning, these indicators underscore Microsoft's financial strength and ability to invest in new growth areas. Warning, rapid technological changes and competition require continuous innovation. Examples of bad stocks 1. Enron, ENRNQ Story, Enron was involved in fraudulent accounting practices, leading to its bankruptcy. The company's downfall was swift and devastating. Indicators Negative cash flow, high debt levels, frequent restatements of financials. Meaning, these indicators reveal financial instability and unethical practices. Warning, be cautious of companies with opaque financial statements and frequent restatements. 2. Kodak, KODK Story, Kodak failed to adapt to the digital photography revolution, resulting in a significant decline in its stock value. Once a dominant player in photography, it missed the shift to digital. 
Indicators, declining revenue, negative cash flow, shrinking market share. Meaning, these indicators signal an inability to innovate and maintain competitiveness. Warning, watch for companies that fail to adapt to industry changes and have declining market share. 3. Blockbuster, BBIYQ. Story, Blockbuster's inability to compete with streaming services like Netflix led to its downfall. It failed to evolve with changing consumer preferences. Indicators, declining revenue, negative cash flow, shrinking customer base. Meaning, these indicators reflect poor adaptation to market changes and declining relevance. Warning, look for companies that are slow to innovate and lose market share to new competitors. 4. Pets.com Story, Pets.com became a symbol of the dot-com bubble burst, as it failed to achieve profitability and went bankrupt despite high initial hype. Indicators, negative cash flow, high marketing expenses, low revenue. Meaning, these indicators reveal poor financial management and an unsustainable business model. Warning, be cautious of companies with high marketing expenses and no clear path to profitability. 5. JCPenney, JCP Story, JCPenney struggled with declining sales and changing consumer preferences, leading to its stock decline and eventual bankruptcy. Indicators, declining revenue, negative cash flow, high debt levels. Meaning, these indicators highlight financial distress and an inability to compete effectively. Warning, watch for companies with declining sales, high debt, and frequent restructuring efforts. By practicing patience and staying informed about market trends, investors can identify potential good or bad stocks before the broader market recognizes them. Does this help clarify the importance of avoiding market timing and provide useful examples? 9. Diversify your portfolio While concentrating on a few high-potential stocks can be rewarding, diversification can mitigate risk. A well-diversified portfolio can help protect against unforeseen downturns in specific sectors. Diversify your portfolio is a fundamental concept in investing that aims to reduce risk by spreading investments across various asset classes, industries, and geographic regions. The idea is to avoid putting all your eggs in one basket, so if one investment performs poorly, others may offset the losses. Problem of not diversifying your portfolio Many investors fall into the trap of concentrating their investments in a few stocks or sectors they believe in. This can lead to significant losses if those stocks or sectors underperform. For example, if an investor puts all their money into a single tech company and that company's stock plummets, the investor's entire portfolio suffers. Who can diversify their portfolio? Anyone with an investment portfolio can diversify it, regardless of their financial situation or investment experience. Diversification is a strategy that can be applied to both small and large portfolios. It's about making informed decisions and spreading risk across different assets. Examples of diversified portfolios 1. Stocks across different sectors, investing in technology, healthcare, finance, and consumer goods companies. 2. International stocks, including stocks from different countries to benefit from global economic growth. 3. Bonds and fixed income, adding government and corporate bonds to provide stability and regular income. 4. Real estate, investing in REITs, real estate investment trusts, or direct property ownership. 5. Commodities, including assets like gold, silver, and oil to hedge against inflation and market volatility. Examples of non-diversified portfolios 1. Single stock, investing all funds in one company, such as putting everything into Apple Inc. 2. Single sector, focusing solely on the tech sector, ignoring other industries. 3. Domestic stocks only, ignoring international markets and investing only in U.S. stocks. 4. High-risk investments only, putting all money into high-yield bonds or speculative stocks. 5. Cash only, keeping all funds in cash or low-interest savings accounts, missing out on potential growth. In 100 Baggers, Stocks That Return 100 to 1 and How to Find Them by Christopher W. Mayer, the author emphasizes the importance of diversification while also highlighting the potential for high returns from investing in growth stocks. 
Mayer provides examples of companies that have achieved extraordinary returns, but he also cautions against the risks of concentrating investments in a few stocks. 10. Learn from failures, study the failures of others and analyze what went wrong. Understanding mistakes can provide valuable insights and help refine your investment strategy moving forward. Learning from failures is a crucial aspect of investing. It involves analyzing past mistakes, understanding what went wrong, and using those insights to make better decisions in the future. This approach helps investors avoid repeating the same errors and improve their overall investment strategy. Problems with not learning from failures 1. Repeating mistakes. Investors who don't learn from their failures are likely to make the same mistakes over and over again, leading to continuous losses. 2. Emotional reactions. Failure can lead to emotional responses such as fear or regret, which can cloud judgment and lead to poor decision-making. 3. Missed opportunities. By not learning from past failures, investors may miss out on opportunities to improve their strategies and achieve better results. How to learn from failures. 1. Reflect on past decisions. Take time to analyze past investment decisions and identify what went wrong. 2. Seek feedback. Get input from other investors, financial advisors, or mentors to gain different perspectives on your failures. 3. Keep a journal. Document your investment experiences, including successes and failures, to track patterns and learn from them. 4. Stay informed. Continuously educate yourself about market trends, investment strategies, and financial news to stay ahead of potential pitfalls. 5. Adapt and adjust. Use the lessons learned from failures to adjust your investment approach and improve your decision-making process. Examples of learning from failures. 1. Amazon, AMZN. Story. Amazon faced significant challenges in its early years including financial losses and skepticism from investors. However, the company learned from these failures, adjusted its strategies, and continued to innovate, leading to its current success. Lesson, persistence and adaptability are key to overcoming initial setbacks. 2. Apple, AAPL Story, Apple struggled in the mid-1990s with declining sales and market share. The return of Steve Jobs and a focus on innovation led to the development of groundbreaking products like the iPod, iPhone, and iPad, turning the company around. Lesson, embracing change and focusing on innovation can lead to remarkable turnarounds. 3. Netflix, NFLX Story, Netflix transitioned from a DVD rental service to a streaming giant, facing initial challenges such as high debt and competition. By learning from these challenges and investing in original content, Netflix became a leader in the streaming industry. Lesson, adapting to market changes and investing in new opportunities can drive growth. 4. Tesla, TSLA Story, Tesla faced production delays, financial difficulties, and skepticism about its electric vehicle technology. By learning from these challenges and continuously improving its manufacturing processes, Tesla became a leader in the electric vehicle market. Lesson, continuous improvement and learning from production challenges can lead to success. 5. Microsoft, MSFT Story, Microsoft faced antitrust lawsuits and competition from new tech companies in the early 2000s. By learning from these challenges and focusing on cloud computing and enterprise solutions, Microsoft regained its position as a tech leader. Lesson, adapting to legal and competitive challenges can lead to renewed success. Examples of not learning from failures. 1. Enron, ENRNQ. Story, Enron engaged in fraudulent accounting practices, leading to its bankruptcy. The company failed to learn from its unethical behavior, resulting in its downfall. Lesson, ignoring ethical practices and failing to learn from unethical behavior can lead to catastrophic failure. 2. Kodak, KODK Story, Kodak failed to adapt to the digital photography revolution, sticking to its traditional film business. This failure to learn from market changes led to its decline. Lesson, failing to adapt to technological advancements can result in obsolescence. 3. Blockbuster, BBIYQ Story, 
Blockbuster ignored the rise of streaming services like Netflix and continued to focus on its brick-and-mortar rental model. This failure to learn from market trends led to its bankruptcy. Lesson, ignoring market trends and failing to innovate can lead to business failure. 4. Pets.com Story, Pets.com spent heavily on marketing without achieving profitability, leading to its bankruptcy. The company failed to learn from its unsustainable business model. Lesson, high marketing expenses without a clear path to profitability can lead to failure. 5. JCPenney, JCP Story, JCPenney struggled with declining sales and changing consumer preferences but failed to adapt its business model effectively. This failure to learn from market changes led to its decline. Lesson, failing to adapt to changing consumer preferences can result in business decline. By learning from failures and continuously improving, investors can enhance their investment strategies and increase their chances of success. 100 Baggers by Christopher W. Mayer provides valuable insights into identifying stocks with the potential for significant returns while avoiding common pitfalls. Thank you for listening. I hope this content is useful to you. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to support our team.